What's up everybody? How are you doing? Welcome to another video. Um, so I was I downloaded this game at Dark Souls 3. It's, it's a good game. I like it. I wanted to experience this on my HDR monitor. And I have made an update that the HDR's issue with working with FreeSync. So if you have the FreeSync enabled on this KDC monitor and HDR enabled, then uh FreeSync will not work. And that was because of the local dimming. HDR only works with local dimming. And I was seeing no problems. But when I turn on FreeSync, Dark Souls 3 is the first game where it gives me problems. And no, I don't have any problem with frame drops. So I just opened the NVIDIA Shadow Overlay. Uh, it's 60 FPS locked. And it is by default. The game will lock it at 60 FPS. But there will be one frame drops ever so. Ever so. It's just that it's 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 just a game it drops a frame because why doesn't it drop three frames or four frames or five frames it drops one frame uh according to uh performance monitor overlay op by nvidia that's what i use i think that is supposed to give out accurate information so there's this one frame dropping but hdr is making the game look so bad so either i have to turn the hdr off or the free sync off Obviously, I will turn FreeSync off because the game is uh, by default locked at 60 FPS in order to um, look at the everything in its full glory. It, the game is uh, has an art and it looks good on a really good HDR monitor. My problem is that I wanted to give out this update that in some games, FreeSync and or FreeSync is broken. It's it's not anything to do with HDR. It's just that I enabled FreeSync. For the first time. And FreeSync is giving me problems. With this game. On this monitor. I have played literally. Like 30 or 35 games. Since buying this monitor. Different games. And I have not encountered this issue. So don't be afraid to buy this monitor. Uh, but people who. It's, it's just putting this out there. right? Putting this information out there. Before this I was playing. Enslaved Odyssey uh, to the West. And I played Splinter Cell and I was also playing Alan Wake Remastered. I did not have any issues with Alan Wake Remastered and Alan Wake 2 which I recently finished. I did not have a problem when I was playing Lies of P and Skyrim which I was again playing recently. So I did not have any problems uh, with new or old games. I think the old games. I've, I played Quake. Uh, that's an old game and I was also playing Dark Messiah of Might and Magic that is an, also an old game. So it, it has, it is also, I think, it doesn't have this FPS lock. So maybe that could be a thing that this FPS lock, inbuilt FPS lock in Dark Souls 3 is causing a problem. So let's, let's play this a little bit just to show this off like whether you guys, you guys may not see this choppiness that I'm experiencing and what is happening here is the upper portion of the screen is refreshing at a at higher rate than the lower portion of the screen. The lower portion of the screen refreshes maybe at a different rate. I don't know. It's 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 creating this difference between the the portions, like the upper portion of the screen and the lower portion of the screen. It looks bad. Uh, you may not like it. Uh, so for those who do do not like to see these things on a PC because PC is supposed to be free from this bullshit right but I don't know bro we are seeing this bullshit <laughs> the PC is basically beefy the PC which I am having now let's fight this just for the sake of fighting But you get the point. You may not like to have that screen tearing issue. Let's quickly destroy him. I think I forgot to take fire bombs. Oh yeah, he has a jumping attack. Totally forgot we can't guard that. Let's drink an Estus. Oh, we don't have an Estus. Let's do this. Let's focus. Let's get our focus on. Mm, gotta be 
careful here. I don't have any esters. I could die. So that's it for you, Dex Um It's it's supposed to be an easy boss, but I was talking half of the time. So that's it for this thing. I just wanted to push out an update that Dark Souls 3. For some reason, I did not see the tearing screen tearing in. Um, yeah, I'm seeing that again. For some reason, maybe I just didn't notice it while fighting the boss because you're engorged uh, in the gameplay. You you're immersed totally, so you don't notice these details. But yes, while running, I do see the screen tearing. It is very obvious. It is very obvious. It's very obvious. But just saying.